what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says 4 to the power of n plus 3 to the power of n is equal to 91 we're told to look for the value of n given that n is a real number well our first step will be for us to simplify the exponent the exponent is n n can be written as n over 3 times 3. The reason is because when this 3 cancels out, we'll be left with n. So it is still the same thing. So now, in place of n, we're going to be putting this as the exponent. So we have 4 to the power of n, which is n over 3 times 3 plus this is 3 to the power of n which is n over 3 times 3 and this is equal to 91 now i'm going to be pairing this together and i'll also pair this together which means this will be 4 to the power of n over 3 all raised to the power of 3. It's still the same thing since from indices powers multiply plus we we'll do this the same way. This will be 3 to the power of n over 3 or raised to the power of 3 and this is equal to 91. Now our next step will be for us to introduce substitution by saying that let this term which is 4 to the power of n over 3 be x and let this other term which is 3 to the power of n over 3 be y now we're going to be rewriting this so this will be x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 equal to 91 now notice that the left hand side we have the sum of two squares which has an identity of x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. This is equal to 91. Now we have two factors which multiplies on the left hand side to give 91. That means on the right hand side we are also going to find two factors that multiplies to give 91. So this will be, we have 1 times 91 gives 91. And we also have 7 times 13 to also give 91. Now, let's establish a simple fact here. This expression, which is this factor, x plus y, is always smaller than x squared minus xy plus y y squared always so this is not even equal to it is always smaller that is it so that means this is a smaller factor why this is the bigger factor so we're going to be substituting them one after the other here so this will be for our case one and this will be for our case two now we'll start with case one so let's start with case one so for case 1, the smaller factor here on the left hand side, which is x plus y, should be paired to the smaller factor of 91, that is 1. And then the bigger factor on the left hand side, that is x squared minus xy plus y squared, should be paired to the bigger factor of 91, that is 91. We can decide to call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Now from equation 1, we want to make equation 1 to be as equation 2. And in order to do that, we have to square both sides. So I'll square the left hand side of equation 1. I'll also square the right hand side of equation 1. Now the square of x plus y gives x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And this is equal to 1 squared is 1. 
Now we can just label this as equation 3. Now since that equation 3 and equation 2 looks very much alike, so we can subtract equation 2 from 3. So equation 3, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 1. That is equation 3. While equation 2, we have x squared minus xy plus y squared to be equal to 91. Now let's subtract. Now on subtracting, x squared minus x squared is 0. Then 2xy minus minus xy gives 3xy. And then y squared minus y squared is 0. This is equal to 1 minus 90 is negative 90. That is 1 minus 91 rather. But then notice something. If both x and y are positive integers, it means that whatever they multiply, as long as they're multiplying 3, they both are positive integers, we're supposed to be having a positive value. But here we have a negative value, so we're going to be rejecting this. So we reject our first case. Now let's move on to our second case. So for our case 2, we take the smaller factor, which is x plus y, and we pair that to the smaller factor of 91, which is 7 in case 2. Then we take the bigger factor on the left, which is x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to the bigger factor of 91, which is 13. Just as we did in case 1, we can call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Then we can start from equation 1 by making equation 1 looks like equation 2. And we have to do that by squaring both sides of equation 1. So we have x plus y squared, so we square the left, equal to we also square the right hand side. And on squaring the left, which is x plus y, we have a result of x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to then 7 squared is 49. So we can decide to call this equation 3 since we've already got equation 2. Now let's solve equation 3 and 2 by subtracting equation 2 from equation 3. This is 3. So equation 2 we have x squared minus xy plus y squared to be equal to 13. So this is our equation 2. Now let's subtract. So I'm subtracting x squared minus x squared is 0. And then 2xy minus minus, which becomes plus. So 2xy plus xy is 3xy. And then y squared minus y squared is 0. And this is equal to 49 minus 13 is 36. And to get the value of xy from here, we just have to divide both sides by 3. So I divide here by 3. I also divide here by 3. So on the left, we've already got xy remaining to be equal to 36 divided by 3 is actually 12. So we've got xy to be 12. Now, this is very, very important because from equation 1, we have x plus y to be equal to 7. Now, see that the addition of x plus y is 7 and their multiplication is 12. So, what factors do you think can add up to give 7 and can multiply to give 12? The only factors that comes to mind is 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12 y 4 plus 3 is 7. That means the value of x and y are x can be 4, y, y be 3, or x can be 3, y, y can be 4, since the equation is symmetric. And now let's go back to our substitution. So recall that we said let 4 to the n over 3 be x, and let 3 to the n over 3 
be y from our substitution. So we're going to be using our substitution to solve for our answer. So now let's substitute to get our final result or answer. So from here we have 4 to the power of n over 3 to be equal to, we take our first value, x is 4, so we're going to be putting 4 here. So for the other one we have 3 to the n over 3 to be equal to y, here y is 3. Now we know that 4 is same as 4 to the power of 1. And since the bases are the same, we can equate the power. So we have n over 3 to be equal to 1. And when we cross multiply, we see that n will be equal to 3 times 1 is 3. The same thing here, 3 is same as 3 to the power of 1. And since the bases are the same, we can equate the powers. So n over 3 is equal to 1 and in the end we're going to be having the same result which is n equal to 3. Now coming to this other case we see that we have 4 to the power of n over 3 to be equal to x. x in this case is 3 but notice that the bases are not the same and since the value of n is a natural number in order for that to be possible the bases must be the same. So we're, going to, we're just going to be ignoring this and we stick just with this, seeing that the value of n is just equal to 3. Let's check. So the given question is 4 to the power of n plus 3 to the power of n equal to 91. And since we've got n to be 3, so we substitute that here to see if we get 91. So 4 to the power of n, n is 3, plus 3 to the power of n, n is 3. So we don't know if we're going to be having 91 yet. So 4 to the power of 3 is actually 64, plus 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So we don't know yet if we're going to be having 91. But on addition of 64 and, and 27, we've actually got 91. And this is actually equal to the right hand side. So n equal to 3 is a correct value. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, Take care.